Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called More Than This by One Direction. And we're going to start off on a C major chord. And when you play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C on our intro and our verses, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. And all you really have to do is kind of take the third finger from the A string on the third fret and then go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to begin with G major chord. We're going to play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. We play E minor. First finger stays on the A string, second fret, and then the second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to an F major chord. If you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now a good substitute for that though, if you're just starting out, is something called F major 7. When you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret, so it looks a lot like C. And you strum just the D string to the high E string, and that sounds an F major 7 chord. And then from the F, it's kind of a quick F, and then we go to the G major at the very, very end of our, our, our phrase. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. You got down, down, up, up, down, up, down. last F and G chord are actually kind of half of so you just kind of a down down upon each of those chords. F with a down, down up G with a down, down up. So we tried that through our verse, we have C with a down, down up, up, down C, down, down up, up, down 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 up
fingers for that, or, or I'm doing it as kind of hybrid picking, so I'm using my pick for my basses and my fingers for, for kind of the other notes of the arpeggio. So you may want to think about a couple different ways to kind of get that, that to kind of move in. And people will be like, oh my gosh, more, more than this, I love this song, it's a great song. So you may want to kind of play around with those arpeggios, that, especially for an intro, that could be a cool way to kind of work it. Um, and then from there, then we go into our pre-chorus, and our pre-chorus starts on A minor, and then we do more A minor, and then we go to G major, and then more G major, and then we go to F major, and then another F, and then another F, and at the very end, it sounds like we do a G major. Later on, that kind of becomes a break, where you may want to think about doing kind of just the F with the down and kind of riding it out. But just to try that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we've got A minor, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down. Second finger on the G string on the second fret, and then the third or the fourth finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you show the D string to the high E string, that sounds like a D minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And our bass note for that chord actually would be on the D string. When we get to that. And then we go to C major, and then we go to G major, and then we do another G major. So if we try our down, down, up, up, down, up through that, we'd have C the down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up. especially in that second verse and, and kind of on that I would think about using to cover the song is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now our down, down, up, up, down, up is kind of dividing that beat into two parts. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. What I mean by that is if you take the C and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down. That strum pattern is kind of taking the place of two chords, and the weirdest part actually is where we got that E minor. We could do just kind of a down, 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 up, and then go to F for a down, down, up, and then G with a down, down. This is the weirdest part actually on that is E minor with a down, 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 F with a down, down, G, down, down, up. But we tried that strum pattern through our next verse. We got C with a down, 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 up, up, down, down.
applying that to our pre-chorus, the weird part is that last F and G where we can do kind of a down, down, down up on each of those chords to kind of half them. So we tried it that way, we'd have A minor, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, D, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down